George Jessel says that the human brain starts working the moment you are born and never stops until you stand up to speak in public. If you suffer from stage fright and you're looking for a way to overcome shyness, you may want to try out some of the techniques I'm gonna give you right here. I've got these seven techniques that I've used myself and I've seen other people use as well that helps you to turn your body into the tool that flushes out negative energy. You basically turn your own body, your own personality and your own physical body into the tool that you use to flush out any negative energy that can stop you from delivering a awesome speech. Okay, number one, the first thing that needs to happen is this. To give a good speech, you have to assume a good posture. To be confident, you have to assume a confident posture. So number one, standing straight is one of the first and the best things you need to do. Do not do this. Do not look at your feet. You might want to practice this in the mirror for a while so that you get used to it. Make sure you're standing up straight. Your back is straight and you're looking straight ahead. That's the first thing you need to do. Once you climb onto that stage, onto that podium, or when you stand in front of your colleagues, you need to make sure that you are standing very straight. That's the first thing. The second thing is to release tension. How do you do that? You might wanna shake your head, move your shoulders up and down. Just make sure that your shoulders are relaxed because when we are tense, we tend to do this. <laughs> but when you are relaxed, your shoulders are just normal. They're in the normal position. They're a little bit low. They're not like that. You know, that says, okay, I'm frightened. I need to kind of run away or I need to freeze now. Just relax your shoulders. Shake your legs. I know you cannot see my legs right now, but just shake your legs a bit so that you, you kind of feel a little bit free. One of the great tips is to make sure you keep going back to ensure that your shoulders are in the right place. Really important. Number three tip is your hand gestures. Now, using hand gestures is a great way to emphasize like some key points. However, if you move your hands too much, you distract your audience. I remember somebody telling me once in one of my videos earlier on that, hey Bumi, you're moving your hands a bit too much though, you know, because I really like uh, moving my hands when I'm speaking, but he, the guy was saying, oh, I'm moving them too much, so he's getting distracted by that. But using your hands could be a good way for you to make some key points. So when you're making certain points, you can move your hands as I'm moving mine right now. You're making some key points here, okay? That's a good way of doing it. Another thing about hand gestures is that they stop you from fidgeting around with your hands. Sometimes people are doing certain funny stuff with their hands, and if they're not careful, their hands go in the mouth whilst they're speaking and they're biting their nails. I've seen that happen before. One thing though, until you become a household name, don't put your hands in your pocket. Your hands need to be straight ahead of you, in front of you. If you're not a household name, I wouldn't even put my hands at the back unless I'm trying to make a particular statement. If not, my hands will always be in front. My elbows are loosely next to my body and my hands are there so that they show that I can move them. I can display, I can gesticulate if I wanted to. Very important to do that. All these kind of things just makes you look a lot more confident in your approach when you start speaking. Number four is to use the space. Sometimes you go on what somebody's speaking and they stay in the same spot. They're supposed to use the whole stage, but they stay in the same, same spot. You need to practice walking around. I'm gonna to walk towards the camera right now. I'm gonna walk back from the camera. I don't wanna to walk too much to the side because I might walk away from the camera. I don't wanna walk out of frame so to speak, but you need to learn to move, to talk to different audiences. You're talking to that person for now. You're moving your neck. When you move your neck, it kind of helps you 
to change direction. So when you move your neck that way, you're, you're, you're looking at those people, you're talking to those people. So it's really important for us to use the whole stage and um, have contact with everyone in the in the auditorium or if you're talking to a group of people, have, have contact with everyone within the group. Number five, use facial expressions. Sometimes you will see me do this because I want to emphasize a point. So I'm not just like, you know, uh, looking at you in the same way. No, I'm opening my eyes a little bit wide and I'm looking at you in a particular way because I am using face expressions as a means of communications. Just remember that, don't overdo it, okay? And be sure that when you use facial expressions, it incorporates some smiles into it or a laugh into it or a wink sometimes. You know, I don't know how to wink, you know. I don't know how to wink with one eye. I don't can't do that. I have to hold this eye to wink. Anyway, that's so funny. But just add some laughs and some smiles into it because it works. It makes you look more confident. 